Okay, so now we're going to talk about coordinate systems in Cinema 4D. This is going to be a little dry, but it's very important that you understand this concept. In 3D space, the smallest area is a point. Each point is defined by a unique set of three numbers called coordinates. As an example, a point in 3D space would be 0, 0, 0, which is going to be the middle of your 3D world. Each point in virtual space is specified by three numbers representing horizontal, vertical, and depth components. Now, an axis is an imaginary line in space that defines a direction. There are three standard axes referred to as the X, Y, and Z. X is the red, Y is the green, and Z is the blue. You'll also find those here. Y, X, and Z. These are your world coordinates. Now, in addition to having world coordinates, we also have object coordinates. The object coordinate system is the local system of an object. Each and every object has its own coordinate system. So each one of these objects has its own coordinate system, and that is defined by the X, red arrow, Y, green arrow, and Z, blue arrow. This coordinate system, this coordinate system, and this coordinate system are all object. This coordinate system is the world coordinate system. So why do we need both systems? Well, because objects need to have their own coordinate system so that we can rotate and scale them relative to themselves. At the same time, we need the world system so that we can move or animate these objects around the scene relative to the world coordinate system. And just to show you how these are different, right now these look like they're sharing the same parameters as the world coordinate system. If I was to take this cube and rotate it around here, do something like this, now you can see the coordinate system for this object is very different than this world coordinate system. Plus, as I said before, if this object was sharing the same coordinate system as this world, there would be no way to move, transform it, animate it around this scene because it would be sharing the same coordinates as this system. So this is one of these ideas or concepts that may not just jump right out to you, but trust me, you'll understand it the more you start using the program. So I hope that gives you some insight to the world and object coordinate systems. The more you continue to work through these chapters, the more sense it will start to make.